Hi students, welcome back to Chakravarti E Classroom. We are going to discuss one more question from seating arrangement today. This question is based on a square table. Some people are seated around a square table. And we have already posted this question in our telegram channel. Uh, I think most of the students must have finished this one and try to like watch this video for new techniques. Whatever the techniques you have not got, probably you are going to get some new techniques here. And students who have not joined the telegram channel, I request you to join the channel. I have given the link below this video so that you will be getting the regular updates from our institute. Okay, right. Now let's start the question here. As it is students, how we will do? First read the question properly. Read the basic data at least properly and analyze something there. What exactly they have given? See, 8 persons, A to H they have, they have given are seated around a square table in such a way that 4 are seated on 4 corners and the remaining 4 are seated in the middle of each of the side. By this time you must have understood this one. Okay, how is that one? Just visualize this one. Not only visualizing for this type of questions, you need to write on the paper. Just draw a square here. Square or rectangle, whatever it may be, it doesn't matter. You can take both as same. Okay, I'm just drawing a square here. Or otherwise we will take a little bigger here. Okay. So let's go from this one. Right. It's a square. Now you see, 4 are seated on the corners. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 4 are on the middle of each of the sides. The arrangement must be in this way. And after that they have given the directions as well. How they have given you see, the ones who sit at the four corners face the center and those who sit on the middle of each of the side face outside. A fantastic information, right? The corner people are facing the center, sentiments are this way, right? So this person should face inside, center and this is center. And those who sit on the middle of the side face outside. These four are facing outside, as simple as this one. You have to start the question in this way. But one thing is very important students here. What is right side of the concerned person or left side? You must be thorough with that one. You must know that one properly. How? For example, I am taking this person. For this person, this is the right side. Isn't it? This is the left side. Similarly, for this person I am writing here, this is right and left. For him, right and left. For him, right and left isn't it for this person now you see he's looking at south even in the previous session also we have discussed this one for this person this side will become the left and this is the right all right now for this person this is right and left for this person right and left for him right and left first you need to check this one otherwise while doing the question in a flow in the examination maybe because of examination pressure if you do this one a little wrong entire question will go wrong all right now go for the data analyze that one and try to bring that one onto the chart what exactly they have given here three females sit on the middle of the sides and two are at the corners there is a hidden meaning in this one what is that? They have given the male-female bifurcation here. I am just writing in this way here. Okay. Now, clearly they have given that out of 8 persons, female and male, female are 5. Male are remaining 3 of course. That's one. And out of 5 females, 3 females sit on the middle. I am writing like this. Middle 3. Middle 3. And middle 3 means out of 5, corner here, when middle three persons are there from female side, from male side what is there? Total three persons are there. Four, uh, middle you see total four persons are there. Simply middle three female. That means for male, one male is in the middle. As far as the corners are concerned, four corners are there. Two female are on the corners. It means two male are on the Corners. I'm just writing this one as corner. Okay. So here it is one on the middle, one uh, two on the corners. Enough. This is the rough work. As quick as possible, you have to go for this one. Total eight are there. Five female, three male, and out of five female, three on the middle, two on the corners. And correspondingly, male here, one male is on the corner, two are uh, on the middle of the sides. This is the bifurcation. Okay, as and when it is required, I am going to take that one 
on to the chart. Now go for the next one here. What they have given? A sits second to the left of G. Now you see students. A sits second to the left of G. That means A's place is depending upon that of G's. Without fixing the face of G, I cannot go for A's place. Isn't it? Alright. Now A sits second to the left of G. Who sits on the middle of one of the sides? How good information is this? Right. So G should be on the middle of one of the sides. Total four middles are there. Where shall I take G? That is up to you. And that is completely up to you. Wherever you want to keep out of these four places, that is up to your convenience. Alright, so I am taking G here. Here, here. So, okay. So now, you want, if you want to take here, you can take, of course, here you can take here also. That's up to you. Now, A's place is depending upon that of G. A sits second to the left of G. Now you see, for this person, this is right side, this is left side. Now A must be placed here, fixed. Now A's place is fixed, G's place is fixed. The next information you see, C sits fourth to the right of his wife and his wife is not an immediate neighbor of A or G. Fantastic information. Here I will show you one technique. What is that? C sits fourth to the right of his wife. C's place is depending upon that of C's wife's place. First of all, you need to place C's wife. Correspondingly, you can go for C's place. Now, C's wife is not the neighbor of A or G. Already, 80% of the information is eliminated there. How to take? Now, I am just venturing into taking the place of C's wife. Since C's wife is not the neighbor of A or G, I cannot place C's wife here. As simple as this one. Alright. Even here. Alright. C's wife is not the neighbor of G as well. Here also I cannot take. Now three places are left out for C's wife. Once I fix the place of C's wife, only then I can go for C's place based on that of C's wife's place. Isn't it? Now out of these three places, how can I place a C's wife? Clearly they have given that. Just go for that information clearly. C sits fourth to the right of C's wife. Go by the elimination process. What is the elimination process? Out of three places, just select one place. What if I place C's wife in this place? What is the consequence of that one? See students here. Now, these are three places. What if I place C's wife here? If I place C's wife here, C sits fourth to the right of this place. If it is here, one, two, three, four. Here, I have to accommodate C, but already it is occupied by G. So, for C's wife, it is not feasible. Now, you go for this position. If I want to keep C's wife here, C should be fourth to the right of that one, two, three, four. No, no, no. I cannot keep. Now, only one place is left out for C's wife. So, that is this place. I am keeping in this way. This place should be given to C's wife. For our understanding, I am writing like this. And this is female minus I am keeping. Keep male as plus, female as minus. Only for our understanding, nothing beyond that. Okay, right. Go for the next information. Now C's wife place is fixed here. But before going for C's wife, C's place should be fourth to the right of this place. One, two, three, four. Now this place must be given to this place, this place, this must be given to uh, C here, this place, okay? Just I'm writing here, this is inside and this is C and C is male, male, plus I'm writing. Got the clarity? Now what is the shortcut for this one students? In the examination or in your practice, you have to go by these shortcuts. What is that? Here, three places are left out for C's wife. Clearly you can say, clearly you can say, if I keep C here, Opposite to that one is the fourth place, whether it is right side or left side, inside or outside. It opposite in the sense they are not facing opposite to each other. Places are opposite here. That will be the fourth position because total number of persons are eight. Eight persons are there. One person is fourth to the right of one person or fourth to the left. That means that is on the opposite place, whether both are seeing, looking at the same direction or not, that doesn't matter. Total six persons are there. One person is third to the right of one person 
or third to the left of one person have to take the opposite place that is the shortcut so simply you can say if i keep c here c's wife here c here no not possible if i keep c here uh, i'm sorry c's wife here it can be c no already that is a for that reason directly i have to take c's wife place here as simple as this one okay now go for the next information here b sits third to the right of her husband now you see b sits third to the right of her husband b does not sit at any of the corners how fantastic information this one quickly you have to analyze this b does not sit on any of the corners that means b must be sitting on one of the middle middle their middle places already two middle places are been occupied by a and g for this person b only two places are left out this one or this one what if i keep place b here or here you need to think in this way for that the correct connecting condition is that b sits third to the right of her husband suppose if i keep b here this place must be third to the right of b's husband's place now think it over if i keep b here this place must be third to the right of one place which place sir this place isn't it suppose if i keep b here this place should be third to the right of b's husband's place that means if i keep b here b's husband should be here because this place is third to the right of uh, this place only but already this is occupied by c a very good twist in the question all right b has only two places left out if i keep b here i'm going by the elimination process if i keep b here this place should be third to the right of b's husband's place if i keep b here this person should be b's husband isn't it but according to the clues c cannot be b's husband why that is so because c's wife is here 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 this is the twist c's wife is here so for that reason students i cannot take b as a c's wife that means it is quite obvious that this place should not be given to b isn't it so when this place is eliminated for b only one place is left out that is this place now i am fixing b here b female and this place is third to the right of b's husband's place now this place is third to the right of which place obviously this one because this person is facing inside this is right side first second third now it should be given to b's husband i am writing b's husband okay let us just take it out all right one second right this is b's husband male i am writing here how simple students this is the twist in the question now go further here further information is very simple b this, this is over only d sits between b and h between b and h d should be there b i cannot keep h here this is b this must be h between b and h it should be d and next they have given h is the husband of e now h is the husband of a so h is the husband of a h should be male husband of a a is female i am keeping minus and finally they have given e is a male see students don't be in a hurry don't take any hasty like procedure since they have given e is a male and two places are vacant this is male directly you cannot keep e here without much thinking sometimes you may end up in a mistake yes sir so for that reason where shall i keep e to know that one of course this is male you should know whether this is male or female this place only after that you can decide where to keep e have to decide this one go for the given bifurcation students three females sit on the middle of the sides now you see middle of the sides h b a g clearly we have found out that b and a are female h is male 
So very clearly the remaining person G must be female. Okay, coming to the corners here and the two at the corners. Two females must be at the corners. Now corners you see D, this is blank, this is C, this is blank. Now two females should be there. Now B's husband male, C is male. That means remaining two should be female. Of course, I found out this one to be female again. I'm writing here D is minus and this place is female's place. This one. Now, two places are left out. One male and one female. And clearly they have given that E is a male. Two persons are left out. Who are left out person? Of course, E is left out. B, D, H, then followed by G, C, A, E. That means one person left out that is F. Between E and F, now I can confirm that uh, E is a male, F is female. For that reason, I am keeping E here and this is F. Since they have given E is a male, between these two places, that is male, that is female, and I am going to keep up here. So this is F. This is the way to crack the question. See students, to explain this question, I have taken almost 15 minutes here. But while doing this question, after a little amount of practice, you can do this question reasonably in 3 minutes. Initial stages, it takes 3 minutes. Even if it is taking more than 3 minutes, for example, 5 to 6 minutes also, it doesn't matter for the beginners. Alright, you have to focus on the accuracy, not on the speed. Speed will pick up automatically. Once you are 100% accurate, speed will pick up automatically. But to go for 100% accurate, you should practice the basic questions first. Slowly, basic, moderate, advanced and very advanced level questions. Here, patience is required. I hope you got the point. Now, just take the screenshot here. This is the final solution for the question. And I advise you to do this question by yourself again. After the video, just uh, take the screenshot first. And after the video, you try to do this question by yourself. There are only two twists in the question about uh, C and uh, B. You have to go further in this way. Hope you must have understood the class. And uh, uh, in the next session, students, I'm going to come out with one more question that is also based on a square or rectangular table with more parameters so that you can learn some new things out of the next class as well. Thank you so much.